right guys welcome back to another video i got me some nice zucchini and onions here today guys this thing is absolutely delicious so we're gonna jump right into this video and i'm gonna show you exactly how i get this done Alrighty guys, so I keep it simple when it comes to this recipe right here. I just have me a couple of zucchinis. These are kind of small, but this is only going to be a dish for me. So that's going to uh, that's going to be more than enough for me. And I have me some onions, a few slices of bacon, some black pepper, and some onion powder. Okay, so I got my frying pan here. Getting nice and hot. I'm just going to go ahead and get these strips of bacon down inside of here. And these are some bacon that I had and I cut them in half. And I just want to get rid of them out of the freezer. So I'm going to just go ahead and get all of this inside of here. And this is going to give off enough fat, guys, that I don't have to use any kind of oil or anything. So I'll just let that fry up. And once they start frying like this, I'm just going to come in and give them a turn. And I'm not worried about getting these super crispy because it's going to cook inside of my squash for a long period of time. And that will give that, uh, the rest of this fat enough time to render out. So I'll just get all of that turned over, and then I'll be back and add my squash to it. All right, so I got my bacon turned over now. So let's get my zucchini down inside of here. Just want to get all of that inside of here. And once I get all of it down, I'm going to give it a nice good mix. Just to make sure that my zucchini is kind of on the bottom of the pan so that it starts frying the way that I want it to and I'm not going to cover this guys I'm going to leave this uncovered the entire cook time if I cover this it's going to draw a lot of liquid and that's not what I want I just want this to really fry instead of a uh, kind of stew or saute all right so it's been about three or four minutes and I just want to come and give this a Slight turn or slight toss, I should say, just to kind of move my zucchini around. You can see that it's already getting a little color from those bacon bits at the bottom of this pan. So we just want to keep giving that a good turn and getting most of this bacon up to the top so that I can get my zucchini down on the bottom. And once I give it a nice little toss, then I'm going to come in and put a little seasoning inside of here. I'm just going to add some black pepper. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some onion powder. I'm not going to add any salt to this because I have that bacon in here. And that bacon is salty, so I'm not going to add any salt to this until the end if I feel it's needed. I'll definitely add a little bit more, but as of right now, I'm just going to let this cook just like this. And then I will be back in a few minutes to give it another toss. All right, guys. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes or so now. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my onions inside of here. Because my squash is starting to get nice and tender. So... I like adding my onions last. I don't want to add them too early because they most definitely will burn. So we'll just go ahead and get those added in. Let this cook for another five minutes or so. And as it starts cooking down a little bit more, I'm going to just give that a nice mix. To make sure that those onions get a chance to get down on the bottom of this pan and get some of that heat so that we can get those cooked down. And I'm going to let this go for maybe another 10 minutes. And when I, uh, when I get back, I don't know why I'm so tongue twisted today. But when I get back, this will be completely done. All 
Alrighty guys, I am back and this meal is done. You can see that my squash has nice color on it. There's a couple of it that could go a little bit longer, but you could just turn the heat off and that residual heat will be good enough to finish cooking those for a couple more minutes. But this is exactly how I want my squash to look right here. Not too uh, mushy. It's so nice and tender, so I'm going to just plate this up, take my thumbnails and my videos, and I am going to give this a taste test. All right, all right, guys, coming in with a quick taste test. This is my zucchini, onions, and bacon. And we aren't wasting any time getting this big boy. I think that has two on it. Mm. Nice piece of onion. And piece of bacon. Look at that, huh? That's a good bite. Uh uh, get back up there. Okay. That's still hot, too. Mm hmm. Mm. That's perfect. Didn't have to add any salt because of that bacon. The zucchini is perfectly tender, not mushy, for my liking. Mm -mm. I'm about to tear this up. Alrighty, guys, I absolutely enjoyed this meal right here. This nice, good squash, onions, and bacon. Squash was nice and tender, perfectly seasoned. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Also, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I most definitely will see you guys in my next video, Friday Night Fish video. Alrighty, guys. Remember, always pray for love and peace.